uh, this tutorial is probably going to be one of my coolest ones because um, recently I just discovered how to do this. So um, it's going to be using WASD keys like World of Warcraft to move and then using the camera by and then moving the camera by manipulating right mouse and left mouse. And there's going to be a little bit of attacking too. So let's go in game. So in game you can see I got my guy here, the UI is hidden, I got my HP and I can't select him just like in role playing games you can't really select your own guy he's sort of always controlled and W is forward, S is backwards A is to the left, D is to the right and if I hold left mouse I can scroll around and hold right mouse it faces him and then I can start moving with W and do just like the wow kind of controls and W A WD kind of angles too, so you can do just like that. You can pretty much do everything except jump, and uh, you can right click there and he'll go attack it. And he doesn't have auto attack, just like in RPGs, so you're, it's up to you to click. And uh, let's go attack this guy, so I'm right clicking. These controls are actually pretty, I'm pretty impressed with what I was able to come up with. These are pretty close to WoW. Um, Took a lot of messing around, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of do it in the uh, in the editor in a different order than when I figured it out. I was constantly testing and bug testing and coming up with solutions for the problem. But when I do it uh, for you guys, I'm gonna be showing it through from my notes, so it won't it won't be in the same order. But hopefully, it'll make sense. So let's go in the editor. Okay, so let's go file uh, new. Uh, let's go zil because that's just cool. And let's paint some cliffs first. Oh, these are pretty giant. Uh, okay, that's good. And maybe some over here. And let's do some terrain raising. Oops, that's random. Let's raise it on the cliffs a bit. Maybe out here is raised a bit. And uh, let's raise it over here. And then smooth it down in the center. And let's paint some uh, some sand. and then paint some uh, simple grass maybe around there and then what else did I have? doodads. Let's hit D to go to doodads and I'm already searching for tree why don't I just place some tre nice trees around here okay that's good enough and so we've got that and let's see what else are we doing here um, regions okay so I'll explain this later, but just create a circle region, hit escape, and then double click it, and change the size to 1.75. Okay, and I'm going to save and call this WoW Camera System. Okay, and uh, let's hit C to go to cameras, and let's do a sort of a zoomed in camera there. That's good, and go create camera and set view to current, set camera to current view. So camera one is set to this now, and then now what do we want to do? Uh, hit U to go to units. For player one, we want to put a dark templar. You can put whatever you want, but I'm using dark templar for this case. And just just to keep it clean, make it 90 so he's facing up. That's good. And save. And for player 15 hostile, let's just put some uh, drones like I had. And then let's put some uh, zerglings over over there. Okay, that's good. And save. So that should be all we need here. So let's go to the data editor to make all the necessary uh, changes. First thing is attack. Uh, there we go. Attack. Let's duplicate it. And just click OK. Make acquire path limit size 1. And let's call this attack DT. OK. Save. Go to units and search for our dark templar. And you'll, you'll get why I'm doing these changes later. Um, uh, get rid of warpable that and get rid of rally and change attack to attack DT go to the command card get rid of cloak we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of his cloaking get rid of rally we're not, we're not gonna warp him in and get rid of archon change attack to selection attack DT good and save um, after we got that and we moved cloaked um, default acquire level we want to make this defensive so he doesn't go off attacking units you want it to be in your control like a typical RPG would. 
or like wow would I guess um, uh, what else do we want shield regen delay let's make that zero because I'm going to be getting rid of his shields uh, so that the boss bar works properly with his health as you saw at the top of the game that I just showed um, and where's sight radius now make it one I'm going to be making the entire map visible later through triggers so this does so this will prevent him from acquiring units far away um, just a lot of cleanup I'm doing here uh, flags, where's flags? Okay, so we want to get rid of his cloaked because we want to be have him attackable. And get rid of unsele get rid of selectable. So I'm checking unselectable and I'm checking worker too. Uh, and life maximum. Let's make it 80 because I'm getting rid of shields. Let's give him some regen. 0.4 and uh, 80. I believe this is every second, um, so you can see that it'll add up uh, quite a bit. And let's get rid of shields. Okay. And get rid of shield regen. Oops. I'm missing there. Shield regen, get rid of that. Um, I think that's all we need here. And let's go to his weapons. And change this to a 1. And I think we have to do that. I don't know if that's necessary, but I had it. I had that in my other map, and it seemed to work fine. So do that, and save. And now we can go straight into our triggers. So let's get rid of these. And before we do anything, let's make some new global variables, which I'll explain which I'll explain what they do. So W underscore on. And you could just do W space on. You don't need the underscore there, but I like to do that. Uh, Boolean and copy it. And this will be hit F2 to rename. Uh, S underscore on. F2 to rename. A underscore on. F2 to rename. Uh, D underscore on. So this is we're going to use this later to determine whether the player is holding down W, holding down S, or holding down both maybe. Um, and then one more global variable, which is going to be our facing angle. Let's call it our run angle. And I, I could have done run underscore angle, but I just didn't. And let's make this a real. Okay, and back in our initializ initialization, um, we want to, well, let me just save. We want to do a uh, map visibility. So let's go to V visibility, create revealer for player one for the entire map good and then we want to hide the UI for the player so let's go UI uh, where is it show game UI hide yeah that's good I'm just copy pasting them as usual uh, camera so let's do some camera stuff now and this is stuff I discovered through um, a lot of testing and so these values are just good I determined so you want to set for the pitch you want to set it to point two and pitch is sort of vertical um, pitch is like this. This is pitch. It's sort of vertical camera speed. Um, so we set that to 0.2. And yaw, we want to set yaw to 0.2 as well. And yaw is this kind of camera rotation. Um, it's good to know that. And let's go back to triggers. So we got those two set. And we want to turn off the height displacement so the camera doesn't get displaced by cliffs and stuff. Off. Good. Um, so we got that, and now we want to apply the camera we made earlier. Apply camera object. Um, value, there's camera 1. For player 1, over 0 seconds. I just put 100 here, I don't think you have to. And make this just 0, so it's no question about it. Um, okay, and now we want to follow our Dark Templar. So let's go back to camera, follow unit group. And let's follow for player 1 the value, oops, the convert unit to unit group, and now we pick value, the Dark Templar, good, and clear current targets, fine, um, so we got all that set, and now let's do some unit related stuff, just clean up in case we miss something in the data editor, so let's set the unit state, turn uh, unit, so let's pick that guy, good, it's already nicely there, highlightable state uh, off, and let's do another one highlighted and another one uh, selectable and another one which is status bar good and save 